Welcome back to the third video of how to set up Drupal from scratch. In the first video, we showed you how to download Drupal, how to uh, unzip it on your computer, how to upload it to your server, and how to create a database user and a database, and how to add a user to the database. In the second video, I showed you how to install Drupal, how to make the changes to the settings, uh, the PHP file, and in this third video, I'm going to show you how to configure Drupal. So if your if your screen looks like what it looks like on my screen, then uh, you're pretty good because you've installed Drupal on your site, and all you have to do now is make sure you configure the site properly. So the site's name has to be decided and entered on the site name section. So it's going to be Reiki Experts. The site email address. info at reikiexperts.com. The username, usually you would like to keep admin. If you want to put Ricky, if you want to put your name, you can do that. But I like to do admin because uh, some of these sites are not very personal. So I don't want my name out there. I want it to be from an admin's point of view. And the password for the site, this is the password for the administrative section. A very important password for you. So just make sure you are very picky and choosy in uh, selecting this password. All right, so it says password strength low. I'm going to continue right now because I'm going to uninstall the entire section, install, uh, sorry, uninstall the entire implementation of this install that I did and I'm going to do a fresh one. But uh, I strongly recommend that your password strength should be high, if not excellent, you know, so. Make sure you choose the right password. Now, here we go. We got a congratulations message. Drupal installation complete. Now, you may visit your new site. If you go to your new site, you will see a welcome message, uh, which you can get rid of by adding your first content. And before we do that, let me just take you to the administrator section, because this is something that you would want to do first. Go to the administrator section, click on modules, there are certain modules in Drupal that come with it, which you might want to use, like uh, blog. If you want to have a blog, you can set a blog. Uh, go through this section. Go through this section and read about each one of them. There's a description on the right side. But the few things that I really need to begin with are path. This lets you define what each page would be called. It's very good for from a search engine's point of view. PHP filter to add PHP code, uh, search, statistics. I always use statistics and throttle tracker trigger. These are the three two, uh, modules that I like uh, because I want to be on top of like, you know, what's going on with the site, how many people came to the site, what's, uh, what else is being done. So statistics tells you that a uh, throttle tracker and trigger. These are the ones that, uh, make the user experience a little better and faster for the users who come to your site. So save configuration. Now go to administer and scroll all the way on the bottom. You'll see a link on the right that says site information. Go to this section and write the mission of the site. What is the site for? This is something that will be displayed on the home page. So let me pause this video. All right, just give me a couple of uh, seconds. So you add your mission in this box here, put the footer message, whatever you want to display on the footer and hit save configuration. Now your site is absolutely configured. You go back to home and you will see the welcome message, but on the top, you see the mission. This is where the mission comes. So as if you have a longer mission, if you can add more content, you know, it's a good idea. Now, to get rid of this page here, you need to add your first page. So click on create content, click on page and welcome to my new site. Okay, those many E's might not be required here. And welcome and go to publishing options, publish, promoted to front page is what is required and click on save. So if you go to your site now, you'll see this page and the welcome message has gone. So that's how you set up Group Hill. Stay tuned for more configuration videos.